Welcome back. So starting out the week, I got the remainder of these little tabs that hold those uh, door hinge pins in place. Got them uh, drilled and tapped and the little uh, flathead screw put in there, the flush mount. So those are done. And then I decided to move on to uh, putting this little valve there into the heater loop for the air conditioning system. And as you can see, quite a lot of coolant came out of there even though I clamped off the hoses. So a bit of a mess, but... Uh, Got it put in there and then it wasn't original, initially happy with the fit so I had to shorten off that hose there that goes through the bulkhead but there now you can see it fits nicely before there was sort of a kink in the hose coming into it from the left hand side and I wasn't happy so anyway I got that sorted out so it took a little while to get that done and um, while that was all going on uh, Jeff was outside there uh, spraying the lower surfaces of both of the wings. So the wings now have had all their primer on them everything that they're going to get for now anyway. Um, so the job remains now is just to start putting everything together, put the ailerons on, get the push rods connected and make sure everything's fit and finished correctly. And I moved on to uh, the four plane, so, and I was having problems getting it to bolt up there. And I found out, so this one here, it has a little floating nut plate in that um, hole that Jeff bonded in way back when. And you can see, you know, you thread it in and there's still some play and some movement, which is the whole idea, so it allows the bolt to line up. But this one here, when I put the bolt in there, you just turn it and turn it and turn it, and it never engaged. And what ended up happening was um, some resin had crept in um, around the floating nut plate and it was no longer floating. So anyway, it took quite a while of messing around to fix that. Um, I managed to um, sort of enlarge the hole just a tiny little bit enough to get the thread to come in. And so I got it bolted up there, finally. Um, yeah, just a lot of, almost a, a day wasted trying to mess with that. And so there's the wings now inside again. And so Jeff and Devin um, were working on uh, getting all the nut plates and stuff finished off for the ailerons. And so my next job was to put the pedo tube in. And I realized there that the two lines that I put in there, and that's one of them for the um, the pedo and the other one for the angle of attack the airlines had pulled back through because um somebody forgot to tape them in place um so with all the movement around they didn't um stay where they were supposed to so needless to say went back to my old video and looked at that and said oh that's going to be fun going through two ribs and one of them with a rubber tube in it to stop chafing and then up through the mast or down through the mast because this was when the um, thing was inverted um, but anyway, so that was going to be a job, and uh, I wasn't looking forward to that. So this is how things looked there at the end of the day uh, yesterday. And so not only did I get the four plane on and bolted into place, um, I also got the nose hatch done, as you can see there. It's I cleared up around the top of it and just sort of uh, so it fits nicely over the four plane. So uh, yeah, it's looking really good there. And you can see a, a little bit of a gap there just to allow that power line to go through there for the keep the battery on the minder. Um, but overall, uh, looking pretty nice with that closing down. And uh, the guys also got the uh, engine cowlings finished off with, um, you know, recessing or sort of countersinking the holes for the things and also painting them again. And they also had to put these metal backing plates there on the uh, upper skin there of the wing where the aileron attaches because uh, it turns out the aileron didn't have quite the cord length Chef was expecting and he cut those little sort of recess notches there for where the hinge um, parts are kind of without sort of fitting the aileron in and ultimately the edge distance between the hole and the edge of that um, trailing edge there wasn't uh, enough so you can see the, that black area or the dark area that's where the cutout is and the metal plate behind there so I had to reinforce that uh, anyway, um, I got on to doing this little job now, so i um, got this little aluminum rod that I happened to have handy, made a little hook out of it, and uh, made it so that I could pull it back through, and I fed it through that hole there, and then through that rubber tube that was there, and then f coming from the mast, um, I went up through the mast there with um, a loop in the end with a paracord on it, and sort of created like a lasso kind of thing, and then... Um, put the other aluminum rod through and sort of hooked it on there and pulled it back through. Now it sounds simple but it took um, about an hour and a half to do that just because of a lot of messing around getting it in there but as you can see I've pulled the paracord there 
through and uh, now that I had that I was able to pull the uh, airlines back through for the pedo and also for the angle of attack so ultimately I was able to get the pedo tube installed as you can see and there's uh, both of the airlines coming from those and uh, ready to be plugged into their respective places on that bulkhead and then uh, this is the bracket there that supports um, the bell crank the main bell crank for the elevator control it comes there and uh, use, uh, activates the uh, push rods going out to the elevators so I got that drilled and uh, trimmed and also the side holes drilled and drilled into the bulkhead there so um, all we have to do now is just uh, spray that with some black paint which I picked up this evening and that can have the final install for that one and then I can start putting my wire loom around the rest of the wiring there and get it all tidied up in the front and also that guy's going to get a little bit of paint on that crossbar as well and then I can put that back in along with the spring that's going to hook to that and also hook to um, part of the uh, carbon fiber frame there in the nose and that'll hold the gear doors open and I can also shorten that spring if I need more strength on it and continuing on the four plane I pulled the wires through there for the magnetometer and uh, put the uh, connector back on along with the back shell for that and so there's the magnetometer there that's going to actually get bonded to um, the cover plate or at least I think that's how we're going to do it uh, get bonded to the access plate there and then uh, the connector will get um, screwed on it the way I'm doing right now just putting it on there now so I could test and make sure all the wiring was working correctly which uh, I did and it was so that's uh, almost ready to close out there I'll just bond that to the access panel cover and then um, when it gets screwed into place it'll be sitting right where I want it to be and uh, right kind of like there except it'll be nice and straight aligned with the uh, with the longitudinal axis of the aircraft so another job done uh, so just knocking things out so this is how things are looking there I got the pedo static um, uh, sorry pedo and uh, angle of attack in there got the other wiring sort of pulled through there um, still got to do that that's ones for the antenna and then that one's for the heater for the pedo um, and so there's the um, the main uh, pedo line and then that clear one is the angle of attack one and the blue one is the static one that runs down to the back of the aircraft so things are coming along there not too much more to do uh, up front and uh, meanwhile the other guys uh, got the lights installed there on the uh, winglets and tomorrow I'm just gonna um, hook the wires up for those I need that those things just have a wire where I have to just basically solder the ends on there I'm not gonna bother putting any connectors I'm just gonna solder them up um, so they won't be coming out of there in a hurry if they are you can always cut them with a pair of wire cutters and so the uh, the rudders are on now I think they're gonna come off one more time or one of them is uh, but they're all on there the spring there is pulling them back into place um, and there, that's where the, the push rod is in there so and then they'll be lined up um, you know perfectly in line with the winglet there once we got them connected and lastly um, the DAR came today and um, we uh, you know got things underway with getting our experimental certificate so that's hopefully gonna happen over the next couple of weeks uh, anyway that's our update for the first half of this week and thanks again for watching and uh, tune in again on Saturday